Welcome to Refreshing Point Ministries, where Dr. Rick Layton is pastor and teacher. We thank you for your continued support of this ministry. For products and church information, please visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Now, get ready to receive the word as we are changing your world through faith. Undeniable faith. Undeniable faith. How many of you ready to walk in undeniable faith? Even before we get to some definitions, I I just want, you say, what is undeniable faith, Pastor? Well, one of the things I'm going to share with you tonight, undeniable faith is faith that is not open to refusal. Faith that is not open to refusal. Undeniable faith is faith that is indisputably good. (laughs) Glory to God. It cannot be debated. It cannot be disputed. And it cannot be denied. 1 John 5. First John 5, did I leave my, uh... First John 5 and verse 14 and 15. From the King James it says, and this is the confidence that we have in him. Talking about the Lord talking about God, that if we asked anything according to his will, he heareth us. Now, let's, let's, let's stick a pin in a couple of things right now. It says, if we asked anything according to his will, he heareth us. We've learned in times past, and I've shared with you in times past, that God's word is God's will and God's will is God's word. I've shared with you in times past that whenever you have the word on an issue, you have God on the issue. Let me say it like this now. Whenever you have the word on an issue, you have God's will on the issue. God's will, God's word are one and the same. God's will and God's word are one and the same. It is impossible to know the will of God or the word of God on an issue and God not get involved. Uh Whenever you have God's word on a thing and you act on that word, God manifests. It brings God on the scene. And whenever we have God's word on a thing, listen at this. It, it will cause us to walk in what I call undeniable faith. Faith that is not open to refusal. Faith that is indisputably good. It cannot be disputed. I'm here tonight to tell you that by the time I finish tonight, there's some things that you've been believing God for. And the devil will not be able to come at you and block it, stop it, cause you to be able to be denied it because once you have God's word on that particular thing glory to God the heavens are open to you let's look at this so it says and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask ask anything according to his will he heareth us and if we know see when you when, when you have God's, when, when you have God's, when you ask according to God's will, you can have confidence, you can have assurance, and you can have boldness, and you can walk around knowing. You can walk around knowing. Uh, you, you're not catching that. You can walk around knowing. See, 
we as Christians, we should know. We shouldn't think, we shouldn't be uh, hoping and a praying, but we should know. Lift your hands and say, I know some things. I know some things. And see, when you know, Satan can't steal what you know. When you know, no one can come to you and cause you to deny what you know. Say this with me tonight. Say, God's word, God's word causes, a man causes a man to know. To know. Ooh, glory to God. Let's say that again. God's word, God's word causes, a causes a man to know. To know. And when a, man knows, when a man knows, he cannot be denied. Cannot be denied. See, when you know God's word concerning your health, when you know God's word concerning what's supposed to take place in your body and what has already taken place 2,000 years ago, you cannot be denied. It causes you to walk in what I call undeniable faith. Faith that is indisputably good. Faith that is not open to refusal. Okay, come on, sir. Lift your hands on that. Tonight, tonight you, you're going to reach up and you're going to take hold of. See, what faith does, faith takes hold of what grace has already provided. Tonight, you're going to, because you know some things, you're going, you're going to take hold of what grace has already finished, what grace has already completed. See, faith reaches out and takes hold of what God has already provided for you. So tonight, you're going to walk in undeniable faith when it comes to your, when it comes to your healing, when it comes to your money, when you know some things about your finances, when you know God wants you to be rich, uh, excuse me, Lord, when you know God has made you rich, uh -huh. glory to God. How you going to walk around, you already the rich, and, and ever talk about you poor? You already the healed. How you going to talk about you sick? It says, and if we know, verse 15, that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, whatsoever we ask, whatsoever we ask, because we know, see, and when we know, and we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. Now listen at this from, because uh, I want to move along, but listen at this from the Amplified. And this is the confidence, the assurance, the privilege of boldness. I'm just, I, you know, I, I don't think y'all, ooh, this thing is so anointed. Let me, let me start back over. And this is the confidence, the assurance, the privilege of boldness. Sometimes people think we cocky when we walk by faith, when we walk according to the word, when we act bold about things. But the scripture says this is the privilege of boldness. Glory to God. This is, you, 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 you get the privilege to be bold. When you know some things, you get the privilege to be bold. This is where it comes from. Lift your, lift your hands on that. This should be normal for the born again child of God. This is the way we act. And this is the confidence, the assurance, the privilege of boldness. Listen at this. Which we have in him. We are sure that if we ask anything, 
make any request. Now listen at this, this is the qualifier. According to his will. Yes. Now, now listen at this, it just, gets, it just gets clear. In agreement with his own plan. in agreement with his own plan. When we ask anything in agreement with his plan, lift your hands on that now. That's the qualifier. With his own plan, he listens to and hears us. And if since we positively know that he listens to us in whatever we ask. We also know with settled and absolute knowledge that we have granted us mm, our present possessions, the request made of him. This here says that when we know some things, we can begin to walk in undeniable faith. Yes, sir. Yes. When you know that things have been granted to you, when you know that you've asked according to God's will, yes. this is the boldness. Oh, yeah. People say, why are you walking around acting like God done already, uh, already done, done everything for you? You say, because he has. Yes. Glory to God. They say, you don't act like you, hey, like you scared. Amen. Say, I'm not because it's already done. Amen. Glory to God. You act, like, you act like you already have the money to take care of that situation. Say, I do. You act like glory to God. Don't you know you just came out the doctor's office and what he diagnosed you with and what he said to you and you walking around here all bold and throwing your hands up in the air and thanking the Lord and acting like ain't nothing wrong. You said, well, I went in to find out what it said on the x-ray, but according to the x-rays that took place 2,000 years ago, my God. Come on, lift your hands in here tonight. Say this with me. Say, it is a done deal. Done deal. Say, it is, it is finished. Refreshing Point Ministries would like to thank you for viewing this message by Dr. Rick Layton. To order this message in its entirety, please call us at 877-227-8317 or visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Until next time, be blessed.